Welcome to the Tuesday, March 15th, 2016 edition of Werner Berry's Market Video, sponsored by the Meat Buyer's Guide Online. In today's video, Apollo Global announced it will buy Fresh Market for $1.36 billion. Then later, FDA spiny lobster refusals are up sharply this year. But first, American Egg Board announces 2016 executive board members and its new CEO. Here with the story is your host, Jamie Chadwick. The American Egg Board announced its 2016 leadership team, including its executive committee, as well as new president and CEO, Ann Alonzo, following its annual meeting. The announcement of the incoming leadership team coincides with AEB's 40th anniversary, where decades of success through iconic, incredible edible egg marketing programs have helped to increase U.S. egg sales and consumption. The annual meeting took place on March 11th. The incoming leadership team will continue to advance AEB's core mission of increasing demand for eggs and egg products while moving the organization forward to support an evolving egg industry. For more on the AEB, subscribers can click on the Egg tab in Comtal. Next up, Apollo Global announced it will buy Fresh Market for $1.36 billion. Here's account manager Megan Mick with the story. The Fresh Market grocery chain has agreed to be acquired by an affiliate of the private equity firm Apollo Global Management for $1.36 billion. Under the terms of the deal, Apollo will pay $28.50 per share in cash for the grocer, which is approximately 24% premium over its closing price on March 11th and a 53% premium from before speculation regarding a deal first surfaced. According to Apollo, the Fresh Market currently has more than 13,000 employees and operates 186 stores in 27 states with its strongest presence in the Southeast and Mid-Atlantic regions. Apollo says it expects the purchase to close in the second quarter of 2016. For more on this and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. Thanks, Megan. Now we'll take a look at a sharp increase in spiny lobster refusals by the FDA this year with seafoodnews.com editor Michael Ramsing. A hike in spiny lobster refusals from Latin American suppliers dating back to late last year has carried over into 2016 and is contributing to an overall increase in FDA seafood refusals this year. Byline item seafood refusals are up 34% through February dated according to the FDA. A total of 75 line items of spiny lobsters, mostly from Brazil, refused entry by the FDA through February this year. This compares to just one line item of spiny lobsters refused through the same two months in 2015. Filth has been the top reason for the FDA refusals. This increase actually dates back to late 2015. The FDA refused 56 line item shipments between September and December last year. That figure represents 75% of the FDA's spiny lobster refusals in 2015 and was higher than total spiny lobster refusals throughout 2014. Head to seafoodnews.com for the entire spiny lobster refusal story and subscribe to Erner Berry's Foreign Trade Data Service for complete access to FDA refusal data. Thanks Mike, that concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high-definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.